in his 13th, Evan Scott in his 4th, and back at the replay center, Lauren Holkamp and Mitchell Irvin, and away we go. Here is Moran, the number 9 scorer in the NBA, averaging 29 points a game, Andrew Adams shot as he flew in a foul. Nice shot there early on, John Moran setting the table. For Adams, a little brush green, playing downhill, throw the ball towards the rim, and see if Adams can finish. Herb Jones picked up the first foul, and here is Stephen Adams at the free throw line. Nine of 29, nine of 30 from the free throw line this season. He has had a tough start from the strike. But... He does everything else well. He rebounds well. He's coming off a double-double. The other game uh, Sunday against Washington, 12 points and 10 rebounds. And here he is again. This is from both. But more importantly to me, he does all the, the little dirty things, especially setting those harsh greens up top to free Moran. And it's Valanciunas up top. They came in a trade for one another, and it's home, both teams. Jones driving that baseline. It's Murphy, out to McCullum, shot clock at three, Jones to the rack. Now here come the nine and five Grizzlies, Morant, who is using that mid-range float shot. He scores from five different levels, from the line, from three, underneath at the rim, and that mid-ranger is something he has been reviving. Jones, a triple off the glass and down. And he's been struggling from that three-point line. Only two of 18 coming into tonight. Did that one count because he called Bain? It does count, right? <laughs> it counts in Vegas. Probably hear that from you. It's Brooks inside pushing the button. He had 19 Sunday against the Wizards with four rebounds and a couple of assists. Well, what did Willie Green tell us before the game? You look at the matchup here with Morant guarding C.J. McCollum. McCollum's going to have to make Morant work as a defensive end. Valanciunas over Adams, and Valanciunas puts it in. Now, he has been struggling the last couple games with his shot. And with no Zion tonight, maybe he can get a little bit more touches and get kind of going, Good get point. that rhythm going a little bit. Ran on the side, and Desmond Bain not playing. Here comes Jackson, long strides down the lane with a foul. Back in your got him on the wrist on that shot. Foul goes on Brandon Ingram. It's the first on him. And this will put veteran Jaron Jackson at the stripe. What a plus for Taylor Jenkins to get Jaron Jackson Jr. back in the lineup here. Here's a guy who was first team all defensive a year ago, led the league in blocks, pick and pop type player. So he had right foot surgery during the offseason. They were projecting anywhere from four to six months, and he's come back earlier. A lot of people were saying probably January, and here we are at the end of November. Boy, it goes to show middle of November, excuse me, what everyone was talking about. He had no setbacks in terms of his progression on the court. He didn't push himself, and they give their training staff a lot of credit. That's a long three, and it's down. What a shot. Trey Murphy hit that for Metairie. Wow, he is way outside and puts it down. And a five-point lead for the Pels. Adams. And they go with the shot outside. That'll go in John Conchar. He is a fourth-year player, undrafted out of Fort Wayne. He can absolutely let it fly. He struggled at time. Nice back up here. Here's the steal. By Moran. And look at the speed and the move and the two scan it and a foul. As Moran took it the other way and did everything on that one. Got the steal, raced the other way, got it to go. He'll have a chance for a three-point play. And Willie Green, this is what he feared the most, right? Transition. Turn over the basketball and allow John Morant to get out in transition because he is so lethal in the open court. McCullen picks up his first. There you see second-year head coach Willie Green. The bright young coaches in the NBA with 12 years of playing experience in the league with six different teams. McCollum has been struggling with his shot. So when you have these guys hitting from all over the joint, it doesn't matter. He's just going to feed like right there to Jones. Another three. This one won't go. Dallin Shunis was held inside with a foul called on Stephen Adams as the big men are going at it in there. And Adams picks up his first. 
So the Pelicans, with a look at Zion Williamson, again, he may play tomorrow. They're not really sure exactly how long it's going to be, but they're siding on an effort for caution with everything concerning his body. With the history of injuries he's had, they don't want to push it, especially this time of year. McCollum free to fire. It's a two. It's a three. Our vantage point looked like maybe that foot was on the line, but they've ruled a triple, and he's got the three to drop. Putting pressure on Moran. It's going to be McCollum's job all night. You've got to try to wear him out. Offensive foul there. Might be two on getting that on Adams. It is. Second going on Stephen Adams. There's that three by McCollum. Clark checking in here with the big man, Stephen Adams. Adams now, they're going to downsize a little bit. And Jaron Jackson will move more in the pivot, and they bring in Brandon Clark. Yeah, but they're even more dangerous when Clark comes in. Yes. Because his ability to score quickly on alley oops from Moran. High flying bunch, this Grizzly team. McCollum driving in on Morant, knocked away, blocked shot by Jackson. Rich just told you, led the lead last season of block shots with his first team. All defense selection. Look at Morant, fast speed, looking at inside. Oh, wow. But I will say this excellent length in defense by Herb Jones, who picks up his second foul now. So decisions for Willie Green. Look at this. And Playing Jones, a hill. terrific defender. Yes, he is. Look at the length there. What a matchup this is going to be all night. Now you've got two fouls, though, on Jones. So at the free throw line, Moran is a 79% free throw shooter. Memphis in the bonus already in our clock at 839. Ninth in scoring, as we said. And they're going to go with Najee Marshall coming in now for the Pelicans. So both teams have gotten a little smaller here because the bigs take it out. Well, they got down Chuna still. Hey, how about the luxury if you're Willie Green? You take out second-year player and defensive guru and Herbert Jones and come with Najee Marshall. He's pretty much the same type of player. Alan Chunas took that shot. It's picked up by Brandon Clark. Here comes Dylan Brooks. With Morant, he is 10th in assists. He's averaging seven a game. Ah, behind the back, and Jackson a three. Out of bounds. And it will be Memphis's ball. As they go to the bench here, and here comes Santi Aldama, who will check, and he has started every game as...